Hello everybody, welcome to Andy's Beer Reviews. Let's drink some beer, shall we? This is what we're looking at today. This is uh, Peeling Good. It's from... It's Peeling Good. It's from um, Aldi. It's a chocolate and orange stout. Comes in at 5.2% ABV. Um, I paid £1.50 for it. So if it's a good stout, then crack in. Um, it's Aldi, it's a stout, it's £1.50. Honestly, not expecting a great deal from it. Um, it's from... Uh, the Hop Foundry, as it says there on the top. I don't know if that's coming through okay. Um, the Hop Foundry, uh, I think it's just it's just a brand name. There's lots of breweries behind that. I think the Hogback Brewery uh, is one brewery that does some of the stuff under this name. There's some rumours around that Marston's actually brew this stout. So if it is something like Marston's, it should be a good beer. Uh, if it's not, then we might have some problems with the taste of it, but we'll see, shall we? Um, now, it's obviously, uh, this actually came out um, just before last Christmas, I think. So it's obviously uh, there for that um, kind of Christmassy market, the Terry's Chocolate Orange Market. So it's poured. On the poker down the can, that just looked a little bit thin. But we'll soon see, shall we? Not a fan of Terry's chocolate orange, so this is going to be interesting, isn't it? That has poured jet black. There's absolutely no light coming from that uh, through that whatsoever. It's got a good one finger tan head with a nice, yeah, nice, nice tightly packed bubbles on there. Looks all right for a stout. Let's get the own, shall we? It tastes like a chocolate orange. The chocolate is there, and there's a real zesty orange. It does almost feel like somebody's peeled an orange right in front of me. Got a very zesty aroma. Yeah, that's all. It, it, it smells like a chocolate orange, bizarrely enough. Right, taste. Cheers, everybody. It just tastes a little bit thin. But flavour wise, it's actually it's actually really good. Um, you get the roasted malts, it's a stout, so you're gonna get the uh, those roasted malt flavours uh, coming through, which it does. <clears throat> There's a mild hint of coffee. There's just a mild hint of chocolate, it's not very chocolatey. And again, you got that um, zesty orange in there as well, which must be an artificial flavouring they put in there. It's got to have been. Got to get a little bit of sweetness as well. Yeah, there's a little caramel note going through as well. But yeah, it, it you know it, it tastes like if you probably tastes like if you drink a coffee and then you have a toast chocolate orange straight afterwards. Those flavours mixing your mouth that is exactly what we got through this. It's actually not too bad. It's 
chocolate flavours coming, da- coming, coming through more and more the further down the glass I get. And actually the further down the glass I get, it's actually starting to taste and feel a little bit richer. It's not massively rich for a, a stout, but you're paying £1.40 for a stout. You're not going to be able to chuck a lot of um, a lot of ingredients in there, but it does. It, you know, it, it works. It's it's smooth. It's creamy. It's not massively on the rich side, but it, it's getting there. I have to say, it is just like a like I say. It's just like you've had a coffee, then you've had a chocolate orange in your mouth straight afterwards. It's actually really quite good. Um, so a little look at the label. Uh, made with chocolate malt and dark chocolate flavour, so the flavouring for the chocolate as well as getting some malty chocolate flavours through. It's a rich and smooth stout, uniquely lifted with an orange finish and aroma. Ingredients, ingredients, ingredients. Where are you? Just can say it just contains barley and oats. Can't have much in the way of oats in there because it's not, it's not really. I suppose it's creamy, so a few more oats in there would have thickened it up quite nicely. But yeah, nothing else in there. So we've got some. Well, it talks about they've got orange flavouring, but uh, sorry, it talks about they've got the fact that they've got uh, chocolate flavouring there. But no orange flavour, and I'd have thought actually, because the amount of chocolate flavour I'm getting through, I'd have thought that would have been just the chocolate malts, and actually the the, the orange would have been a, a concentrate or a, a flavouring of some description. Joe, you know well, that's not too shabby at all. Um, Flavour's really nice. Roasted malt flavour, bringing throughout forward a little bit of coffee, a little bit of chocolate in there as well, but predominantly it's an orange coming through, a zesty orange coming through in the aroma and the flavour. It's got the oats in there, which we now, we now, we now know about, but I did say it's, it's, it tastes quite smooth. Could have been for me a little bit thicker, a little bit richer. But actually, it's a it's actually a really decent stout. Um, do you know what I'm going to score that eight and a half out of ten. That's an eight and a half out of ten from Andy's beer reviews. Until the next one, cheers everybody.